guys, uh, this is going to be the stretching um, mobility warm up uh, video. So we're going to have this one uh, video all on its own, and then I will um, send you guys an additional actual workout video. Um, so to start, we're going to start with the, the basic stretches. Um, already focusing on hamstrings and glutes to start. So what we're going to do is you're going to um, spread your legs pretty wide, uh, which is going to help you get a little bit lower to the ground. Now your flexibility is going to depend on you know, how far down you can go, but that doesn't mean um, you have to go down to the floor. Everything takes time. The more you work on your flexibility, the, uh, the more range of motion that you'll get. So the object is to try to keep the knees straight, not locked really hard, but just straight. So that when you do go down, you're getting a really good stretch through the hamstrings. If your knees are bent a little bit because you're unable to keep it straight, that's okay too. It just takes time. So the first one we're going to start with, going all the way down, and we're going to hold this. This is going to be your static stretch. You're going to hold this for about 15 seconds. And as your hamstrings start to loosen up, you can start to drop a little bit more. Relax your head and neck. You can even clasp your hands behind your head and relax. And that will actually give a little bit more pull on the low back. Now we're going to start adding a little mobility into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go side to side. And you're pushing your hips back and keeping your chest up nice and tall, back nice and flat. And you want to get a good stretch through the inner thighs. And this is also really loosening up the hips. And in order to hold a static stretch um, with a similar motion, we're just going to go down forward. You can sit tall or you can help yourself out by holding the ground a little bit. You're keeping this leg stretched out. We're stretching this inner thigh. Okay, and we're going to go to the other side. Now back to the inner thighs one more time. You're going to get your uh, feet angled out. You're going to squat down and press out. So you can either come here, press the knees out with the elbows, or if you need the, a little bit of assistance for balance, you can touch the um, fingertips on the ground. So we're going to do a few more standing before we end up um, on the ground, okay? So this one's going to be feet together to start. And you can go with whatever direction you'd like to start with. So I'm going to cross my right over my left, okay? And this is going to pull on one hamstring and glute more than the other. And I'm going to come all the way down to the ground. And if you need to do this by a wall because, you know, you can't hold the ground, that's fine. Um, you'd rather focus on the stretch than having to stabilize the whole time. So definitely... Um, grab something if you're too wobbly with this one. Okay, all right, we're going to come up. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So let's start working on the upper body a little bit. So we're going to angle down and we're going to stretch up and then look up towards the ceiling. This gives you a little bit deeper stretch. And it's okay if you have to stop here, okay? Not everybody's going to be able to go down, especially in the beginning. Okay, and we do the 
the same thing to the other side. the stretch and really get the side obliques nice and stretched out. We're going to stretch it up and over. Okay, go up and over. We're just going to go a few of these. to the right and the left. Okay. And arms behind the back. And you're going to pull down, shoulders back and down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Really lift your chest. This one's going to be very important for warming up the shoulders, especially since we're going to be doing a lot of plank work. Um, we're going to start with arm circles, nice and big, going forward. All right, and then we're going to reverse. We're going to go back forward again with little circles and a little quicker. And reverse small circles. Nice quick tempo. Okay. To get those rotator cuffs warmed up a little bit and activated, we're going to have the arms here. It's like you would be holding the rings, but we're going to abduct them out and in. So the um, elbows stay by the sides, and this is just a nice smooth open and close. Up to the top. We're going to bring it straight up and straight back down. Okay, last but not least, we're going to go into your, call it your, your, your windows, <laughs> your doors. <laughs> close your door. Open your door. Close your door. <laughs> So when you bring it forward, round, forward, squeeze your pecs, and then open and stretch the chest. So we're squeezing, opening, squeezing, opening. So we are going to come down on the floor now, and what we're going to focus on here is opening up the hips. Um, stretching out your piriformis, your psoas, and a few other um, really important ones that are usually pretty tight. So I've got a yoga strap. Um, you can use a lead rope if you're in your barn. You can use a belt. It really doesn't matter. But this is going to allow you to stretch um, the legs a little bit deeper without having to worry about reaching them. Okay. So I'm going to start with my right leg down, my left leg up. I'm going to put this at the ball of my feet, and I'm going to lightly pull and stretch, trying to keep this as straight as possible. And again, if you start off a little bit, just push it out farther and don't pull it back as much, because that's going to be a lot more difficult. So try to keep it straight. So this is going to be one that you would hold for 15 to 20 seconds. All right. And then to swap, we're just going to swap to this side.
Now we're going to go back to the left leg and we're going to do a opening exercise. So you want to do this nice and slow. Keep the leg straight. And we're going to bring it all the way down to the side. So I'm bringing it towards the wall. Now I'm just going to hold this here. If I want to make it more exaggerated, I just pull it up a little bit. And you would hold most of these a little bit longer, but this is just taking me through the demonstration of these. So um, now we're going to stretch your piriformis. This is going to be working the glutes, stretching the glutes. You're going to pull it the other way. And try to twist your upper body facing the opposite direction so you really get a nice rotation. Okay. And then we do the same thing with the right leg. Open, pull up a little bit if it feels comfortable. And then we'll bring it forward and over to the side and stretch your upper body the opposite direction. going to be knees to chest and we're just going to rock side to side this is going to help loosen up that low back and the tops of those quads just get a few rolls Actually, let me face you guys. You see what I'm doing? We're going to face both of the soles of your feet together. And this is going to be stretching the inner thighs. You're going to have your chest up nice and tall. Give a little pull on the toes. And just ever so slightly lean forward to where you feel a really, really deep stretch in your inner thighs. So just going to hold this in for a few seconds. And once it starts to release, you can then drop all the way down. Head to toes. You can hold that one for 15 to 20 seconds too once you've got this a little bit more loosened up. Okay. So we're going to bring one over. So I'm going to have my left out in front. My right is going to be over by my knee. Okay. So a little bit more of an angle. So I'm going to twist towards my knee. Pull my knee and lift my chest and try to twist my upper body facing as far away as I can. And every time you take a breath, you try to get a little bit deeper in the exhale. So this is another one you'd hold 15 to 20 seconds and then you would bring it to the other side, stretch up, pull, and twist. Okay. Now this one I have to say even if you just pick a few of these to do before you're exercising or you're riding. Um, one really important one is the one I'm about to show you. This is really, really going to help with your piriformis, stretching out that side of the glute, those deep muscles in the hips, um, and your inner thigh as well. So you're going to be down. We're going to cross your leg like you were sitting in a chair. You're going to reach up, grab up underneath the thigh, and you're going to pull it to you. Okay, and this is going to give you a really, really deep stretch. that one 15 to 20 seconds and then we would go to the other side and we're going to give that a pull. Okay, come on up. So those are to me the most important ones that are crucial to do um, as often as possible and definitely um, before workouts and also cool down too just to help your body cool down and relax after a workout. Um, so most of all those um, were mostly static. You had some um, movement mobility um, but that's going to be your basic static stretches that I would definitely recommend that you do. 
if not all of them, I would at least try to pick five or six, um, depending on what your exercise is for that day, or if you're doing particular body parts that day. If you know you're going to do a lot of legs, make sure you do a lot of hip opening um, stretches. You can bring them up, out, just get those up. Hip flexors warmed up, activated, a lot of hip opening exercises lying on the ground. It's definitely going to be a good in injury prevention and also allow you to get the most out of your exercise. It's just going to help increase your range of motion and make exercises a lot easier and a lot smoother to execute. So.